In this video, I'm gonna share with you how I steam clean the car interior to perfection, yielding better results, going faster, and becoming more profitable. Now let's get straight into it. What's going on? So glad you're here and welcome back to the Wilson Auto Detailing community. If you're a professional auto detailer who wants to become more successful and profitable in your business or just a car enthusiast who wants to improve your detailing ability, then definitely consider hitting that big red subscribe button right below this video. So if you've been detailing cars for any sort of time, you know that one of the worst areas of any car, especially especially the cars that have kids, is gonna be the little dividing area with the cup holders and the console uh, between the driver's side and the passenger side, right? Because all that gunk gets in those pockets, in the cup holders, uh, people spill their drinks, crumbs, all that sort of stuff. So how do I clean this area quickly, yielding great results and becoming very efficient and profitable? Well, let me show you. So this is actually not the worst that I've ever seen, but check it out. You kind of get the gist of what I'm saying here, right? right here in this dividing area and just check out the cup holders you can see check out all those crumbs that get shoved and just like the creases of the cup holders all that stuff this part actually can be removed that's gonna help me clean in between there but check it out we've got crumbs all inside right here inside the leather we've got crumbs and all this stuff shoved up in these creases and these spaces once again I can actually remove these pieces makes it a little bit easier to clean they've got little tabs that I can pull up just like this and take that out so that I can clean a little bit better. But guess what guys? This area of cars when you have kids is normally like the big trash black hole. So as a professional detailer, I'm always looking for more quick ways that I can actually attack things, yielding great results at the same time. So in this scenario, I'm gonna be using my VX5000 steam cleaner, which if you've been following my channel, you know I absolutely love it. It's amazing. It's probably the best tool I have, like the best investment I ever made. And it's right here, okay? I love this steamer. It's amazing. I can't get enough of it. So the reason this tool is so awesome in a scenario like this is because the steam heats up to such a degree that it really just melts away any dirt, any sticky stuff, any crumbs, all that. But it also has a really high kind of PSI and so it's going to blow anything out of the crevices that I'm working in right now. And that combination of things is going to be perfect with what I'm working on right this second. Because I'm dealing with tight spaces where something like a toothbrush may not really fit. It's not really angled correctly to get this kind of job done. So let me show you guys. I'm actually actually not going to use any sort of cleaner whatsoever to attack this. Let me show you guys how I get this done with no cleaner, no brush, just the steamer and a microfiber towel. So though you guys can't see directly inside the cup holder as I do this, you understand the point. All I'm going to do is blast this steam. It shoots out a very, uh, very straight and narrow stream of steam. And I'm just going to move it all around here, hit not only the bottom, but also the corners. So here we go. So check it out guys, you can see this is with no chemical, right? So you can see there's still like a little ring right there where I would have to use like some all-purpose cleaner just to kind of agitate that a little bit with some cleaner uh, where like the drink gets set, set down, you know, and it creates that ring effect. But look, there's no crumbs or anything left in here in the, in the creases or anything. So now that I've done that, I can spray some all-purpose cleaner, agitate it with a toothbrush, with a makeup brush, whatever, and I can have a totally clean thing. So that literally took me maybe eight, seven or eight seconds. And those are the kind of results I'm getting. So I, I'm, I'm cleaning and I'm blasting all those crumbs out at the same time. Now, I want to do the same exact thing with this area right here because there's a ton of crumbs. There's a ton of uh, just like, you know, gooey stuff and all that stuff in the creases here. So I'm just going to take my steamer and blast it in. I'm actually going to hold my camera right here as I do it. So it might be a little shaky. So just bear with me. It's totally clean. It's totally dry. I really don't even need to take any sort of cleaner to this whatsoever. So the pressure from the air blasts all that stuff out, and then the heat 
from the steam creates a cleaning power where it melts any of the dirt, any of the gooey stuff, and you're just left with this awesome black finish. So really this is just another area where the steamer speeds you up and it gives you better results than you would uh, if you even took more time, you know, doing this by hand, like with a tiny toothbrush or with a tiny brush trying to scrub everything out and all that stuff. Tools like this make you so much more efficient and at the same time yield awesome results. So this is what I call the 80-20 rule. The 80-20 rule applies to a lot of different things, but it's pretty much how do I get 80% return, 80% kind of return on my investment with only 20% uh, kind of energy or effort put forth. So I'm putting forth 20% effort, barely any, and I'm getting 80% in return. Awesome results, quicker time, more profitability, all that sort of stuff. Now here is what the VX5000 actually looks like. It's amazing, it's awesome, totally commercial grade, industrial grade. If you'd like to get your hands on a VX5000 steamer, I'm gonna hook up some Amazon links in the description box below. You can definitely use those links, it'll take you right to the steamer. I'm also gonna hook up some other steamers that are a little bit less expensive. If you guys wanna invest in a steamer, I'm gonna give you guys some options some some of the ones that I really recommend that aren't quite as much of an investment as this one is and of course if you if you use my links to go and buy a steamer go through my links because it does give me a very small commission but it helps this channel stay alive so that I can continue to give out awesome daily content just like this and of course definitely hook up in the comment section below how you guys clean those kind of places in the car of course I'm talking about how I steam car interior but for those of you who don't have a steamer or don't prefer to use one how do you guys attack spaces just like that. Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the Wilson Auto Detailing YouTube channel, then first of all, welcome and definitely consider subscribing because I come out with daily videos just like this on products, tools, strategies, communication skills, business skills, and so much more, all in an effort to help you guys become more successful and profitable in your auto detailing business. And on this channel, I share the exact strategies that allowed me to turn my auto detailing business into a full-time income with only part-time hours. So if you're interested in that, definitely consider subscribing. Thank you so much again for being involved and watching, and as always, from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing. Keep working hard, and I'll see you guys in the next video.